the 10 pound bass are one of the most sought after fish by spear fishermen and there's quite a few factors that you can use to really increase your chances of success. Firstly this sort of fish is generally found in quite deep water uh, and although it is possible to catch and spear bass of this size in the shallows, the vast majority of them are seen in deeper water, generally deeper than 15 metres. But the good thing about Portland is that you can quite easily find this uh, just in shore diving. The other thing is they quite like areas of strong currents, bait fish activity and heavy cover. You can also find them in caves and holes. In terms of catching them, the other thing you can do to really influence your chances is choose your spear gun quite carefully. We've been using the Rob Allen 110 carbon today. It's a real advantage for us. Firstly, it's got the flopper underneath the spear, which is quite different to most uh, guns that you'll, you'll see on the market from European competitors. This actually locks, which means that the fish can't get off if it starts to thrash about in a hole. So you see, if you put that vertically, it doesn't come down again. So that's quite an important feature. Secondly, double 16 millimeter rubbers. Easy to load, but huge punch because you've got two of them. Nice light barrel, carbon, incredibly strong. A bit of a camouflage pattern to break it up. Uh, hand on heart, I don't know how much uh, good the camouflage does, but it certainly doesn't do any harm. And if we come to the back end, really good robust fittings, good quality spear fittings, and you know, nice uh, line situation, good crimps, uh, won't cut out, won't cause any problems there. And then finally a nice solid attachment for whether you want to attach it to your float line or whatever you want to put it on. Um, taking us back to the fish, again these are one of the most prized fish that we catch here. It's a good shot. Um, prizes for spotting the spear hole. It's actually just under here. So this fish was shot just from behind. Uh, hit it in the uh, back of the head and exited it just in front of the eye. Again, very subtle. But just in front of the eye, came out the front there. So, good shot, but uh, quite a deep fish. This one was actually came out from 19 metres. So, all in all, good day's catch, and hopefully a couple of tips there for catching 